Morning, morning. Um, we're gonna go get our GTL on. Ooh, that's a throwback, baby. Yeah. Gym tan, gym tan laundry. Um, it, it is uh, September 9th, yeah. and we are walking out of town. Well, we're still in town. We're doing our laundry in the morning instead of last night because we just had too much stuff to do. So about 9.20, going to get our GTL on, and then uh, in an, about an hour, we're going to get our way back to trail. Let's do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. It is 11.03 and our footsteps are connected. We have, this was the house I was telling you about. We got dropped off right there. Um, we actually like ended yesterday, like right where my tracking pole is pointing, but just to make sure we connected the little feet, we started a little bit behind at the landmark that we checked off. So we're getting out of town, 11 o'clock. 11.03 uh, to be exact. We got like 10 miles of Michigan left. And then we're in Wisconsin, baby. We're gonna hit that Wisconsin border today. Um, so leaving Ironwood behind, all the memories, all the, we'll probably travel back one day to Ironwood and stay at the hotel again. Um, Night Boss says we never go back to Ironwood. <laughs> um, fun fun memories it threw us out of, it really threw us out of whack for the rest of the rest day but yep we're back to stepping um it's all road so i'll get you some stuff we're gonna probably go up to little girls point campground eat the rest of the pizza that is in magpie's pack now because she was kind enough to take it out of mine which was very sweet and we're gonna go places thank you so much russ for being our trail angel in Ironwood for picking us up here yesterday and then also picking us up in town and dropping us back off. Thank you so much. Um, so we're going to go places. Michigan, we're going to try to enjoy these last 10 miles. You've been beautiful. All right. So there's nothing telling us around here not to drink this water. Um, it looks pretty awesome. So definitely nothing trying to say probably shouldn't drink it. Um, It smells pretty rough. Yeah. Don't drink it. Bad as mine yeah, don't drink it. Or, arsenic in it or something. Can I just open my mouth underneath it, baby? Don't. Ready? Ready? Oh, really Ready? It smells pretty bad. Yeah. Don't drink it. So it's 12.20 and we are at Little Girdles Point, um, Western UP Heritage Trail. Beautiful park. Wow. Really beautiful park. Um, the campground, I think, is up there a little bit. And I think this is just the county park, which there's a couple places I think you could stop and check out the view. But I think we're going to stop here for lunch really beautiful don't you see the water behind it that's superior baby that is superior um we are like six miles from wisconsin hey baby isn't this pretty am i a little girl yeah okay all right can you beat a lunch like this we got some pizza, some sriracha. We got what we call the pizza bag. Um, mm -hmm. Can you can you give me that a little bit of that open goodness shot? Oh, let's zoom in, zoom, zoom, zoom. Just a bag of pizza. Just a bag of pizza. You know how we do. Um, about a full pizza we packed out from Domino's for lunch, and then the bag of pizza is almost a more attracting view than this. Almost more, but just almost. As I'm doing this, I actually got to go back to the bag of pizza. Baby, you want to hold up the bag of pizza? How heavy is it? <laughs> hefty. It's hefty. All right, good lunch break. Last last lunch in Michigan. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. 
All right, let's enjoy it. So that's really baller. These campsites are literally right on the water. Really sweet. So we just broke down lunch and um, ate all that pizza bag. And we're going to Wisconsin. About, uh, about six more miles. And we're Wisconsin fans. We're going to eat some cheese. And Ooh, Wisconsin even makes me feel a little nauseous with the cheese curds. Oh, wow. Why don't I... Every time I get to Wisconsin, I feel like nauseous when I think about cheese. Huh. Weird. All right, we go places. So the community park at Little Girls Point is beautiful. It has shelters, picnic table. It had outlets too. But if you want even like a lunch or a break spot more right on the water come up to here go a little bit past these rocks look pretty sweet um you're right on the water the water is water wisconsin is that a accent in wisconsin or is it water water or water water or water water or water hello that, that's starting to annoy me hmm. that baby doesn't even hear it all right we go places all right, we are about a little over two miles from Wisconsin. So we should be getting there. I don't know, my clock keep, keeps switching again between Central and Eastern time. I think Central time right now, it's like 1.57. So we should be getting there right before three, um, 2.30, 2.40. Wisconsin, folks. Wisconsin, we're coming for you. We're coming for that cheese. We're coming for that good, good. Um, we're just gonna blast through Wisconsin. I think the state of Wisconsin is like 200 miles, a little bit over. Um, we got enough food in our bags. We got seven day resupply for us to get all the way to Duluth, Minnesota. So before we blink, Wisconsin, it's gonna be over. Um, but yeah, two more miles to Michigan. What an awesome state it was. By far, one of my favorite states on the North Country Trail. No, you know what? It is my favorite state on the North Country Trail. I don't like to pick favorites, but just so many factors blow it out of the water compared to some others. The people, the trail, um, just the, everything about it. Absolutely great state. Michigan. Wisconsin. All right. Um, yeah, about two more miles. Sorry, not getting a whole lot of film today because pretty much all our entire day is road walk. From where we started our feet steps today to connect them, um, I think we have like 27 miles of road walk until we hit like trail so not super interesting and i'm not super weird yet because i got town reset on my brain that i'm not one with the trail again maybe i'm just always one with the trail hmm i don't know oh i got spotify though so maybe i won't get as weird this section who knows gotta tell you probably won't happen i'll probably just get as weird adventuring with cinnamon part eight no, we can't go there yet. It's not yet adventuring with cinnamon. We have got to get deeper into the section to adventure with cinnamon. All right, let's go places. That's a, interesting. A little welcome to Wisconsin. We're about a mile away. Wisconsin. All right, so I think I see the welcome to Wisconsin sign. Wisconsin all the way up there, but right now I'm taking my last footsteps in Michigan because this river is kind of the state line, I think. It's like split down this river um, is where the state line is. So maybe it's even this line. This might be Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh, man. Michigan. Michigan. What a trail you've been. The Montreal River. Ooh. I think I see Welcome to Wisconsin. I hope that's a Welcome to Wisconsin sign. I don't see Magpie stopping at the Welcome to Wisconsin sign. Um, I hope it is. So, yeah, we are now, oh, she's crossing the road. I think that probably it means that it is a Welcome to Wisconsin sign. Get ready for me to say Wisconsin many times, Kansas. So, yeah, what a trail. Um, Michigan was 1,150 miles. Today is September 9th. I think it's like 2.30, 2.40, somewhere in there. Um, and we got into it, ooh, let's see, 
either July, the end of July or August 1st, somewhere in there. Um, so it took us about 40 days to get those miles in. I thought she said she was going to stop. It's rude. Um, so yeah, we are getting to Wisconsin, baby. Hell yeah. Michigan, you've been nothing but awesome. You've been uh, absolutely amazing. Southern Michigan, the road walks was a refreshing breeze from Ohio. And once we got into the mid midden area, those areas were beautiful. The Manistee Forest. Then we started getting towards the top of the midden. And it was just even more beautiful than the upper, upper peninsula. The Yupa has a special place now in the heart. Just so many awesome things. Um, Michigan, I'm going to remember you. So I don't know if you can see it. You see a little dot right there. That's Wisconsin sign. Let's go get it. Sweet. They spelled Wisconsin wrong. Isn't there a K and a Q in front of the C? Wisconsin? Is that just how you pronounce it? I think you say it Wisconsin. Wisconsin. We made it. Well, I'm still in Michigan. Well, technically Wisconsin's over there. It's on the bridge, but, but the... we found with previous Wisconsin entry points, they don't put the signs on the bridges. So we only have 1,200 miles left in Wisconsin. So we go up to Sturgeon Bay, go down towards Janesville, cut up to Antigua, then cut across to St. Croix. <laughs> We're doing that. Uh, that's the Ice Age. Isn't that what we're doing? That's the Ice Age Trail. Oh, we could do 1,200 miles in Wisconsin. Well, let's do 200 instead. Wisconsin, we made it. And now I am parallel with the sign, and now the sign's behind me. Michigan's that way. Wisconsin. All right. So as soon as you get into Wisconsin, as of September, early September 2021, again, I haven't been pulling new GPX files, so it might have changed, but. The information we have, there are three routes as soon as you get into Wisconsin. The first one is the Gaia map that I have still that brings us all the way down this highway 122 through the town of Saxon and then eventually cuts over. Then Magpie has an events map, which is she pulled out over from when we were still in Michigan. And that cuts up through Saxon Harbor, then down Harbor Drive, then over Highway 2. Um, so hers is from May 19th, 2021. Mine is probably older. But then there's also a third route that they're building, which I don't think they've completed. I don't know anything about that one. There's a lot of stuff in it that it goes through trail. I don't know. Um, they're trying to build more single track trail, I think, so... That one is in the process of being flagged. So it has not yet been completed. People keep on sending us messages that say, hey, the trail shifted here. Um, yeah, they're announcing that it's getting created. It's not ready to hike. Um, it's being flagged, it's not cut in. So we're doing the events of map one, the one that Magpie got from May 19th, 2021 which brings us up towards Harbor Road area. So that's what we're doing. That's where we're going. All right, I thought I'd let you know. Check your maps. Um, again, it might not be an issue as of September, but when I planned this and pulled over all the GPX, GPX data when we were doing it in April and May of 2021, I have old GPX data, it seems like, Magpie has new events and maps, and then they're also doing new trail. So just be prepared. I'll show you the route we take. Um, this is the most up-to-date route until that single track trail, I think, gets cut in. So let's go. All right, change up time, update time. There are, in fact, only two options when you get into Wisconsin. I was confused. Um, you were both very confused. Yeah, there is the... Uh, Route that is the current route of our GPX files that I was saying that we currently have in Gaia that goes 122 through Saxon. That's the one we're taking. The one that I said we were about to take on Magpie's Avenza maps is in fact the one that I thought was the secret third route. Number two and number three were combined. Um, yeah, so the route, 
official NCT Avenza map has a trail that's not done. Yeah. So the route that's on Avenza is the one that's being flagged as we speak. They have the maps done for it, but from NCTA volunteers themselves, we've heard that it is not yet hikeable. Um, of course, anything is quote unquote hikeable, but they recommended not doing it as well as it's not the official official route yet. The maps have been updated before it is in fact walkable. Uh, Again, the interactive map of Wisconsin is not on, so like public reason that I'm now, Yeah. Again, anything is quote unquote hikeable. We could just bushwhack the entirety of it, but um don't really want to do that. So as of September 9th, 2021, we are continuing the road walk through Saxon down Highway 122. And yeah, which is the official Yeah, which is the official route and then we cut into the forest and the new route connects into the same place we're going anyway. It's just this one keeps us on road while the other one has us bushwhacking through not yet done trail. So that was a little update. We're going to continue our road walk through Wisconsin for a few more miles today and then it's trail. Ah, this brings me back to the Ice Age Trail. Just middle, middle of nowhere roads in Wisconsin. Alright, it's just a joke, y'all. For all those that have watched my Ice Age Trail videos, there's a lot of good trail in there. But you also have road walk. Got a little bit of both. You have good trail and then you have these connector pieces on the Ice Age Trail to get to the good trail again. Um, I don't know, in my head I consider it all good trail. I don't mind road walks. I really don't. Um, just lets you see the country a little bit of a different way. You get to see, like I, I've talked about this many times in many of my videos, not just the NCT, IAT, um, the trails that give you the road walks. Um, you get to feel the country that you wouldn't necessarily feel in the back country. You get to see how the people live along these roads. You get to get a little feel for it. So I don't mind it. I sometimes even enjoy it. So really big straight shot. Um, we're just cruising in Wisconsin. Ah, uh, yes, the farmer on a tractor sign. I remember you too. I remember you fondly. See, this is why you road walk, folks. I found a little kind of unicorn slash horse along the side of the road. Some people's trash is another person's treasure. I'm gonna give it to Magpie and Camp tonight as a little surprise. She'll probably end up throwing it out because she doesn't want to carry it, but it's a gesture that counts. Sure, I was thinking of her, even though she's all the way ahead. <laughs> she's not that far ahead. She's like right there. Camera makes it look farther. Um, I think Nick, when we were riding with you to the Mackinac, 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 Mackinac bridge, um, we had talked about that. But camera makes it look far. She's about hmm, 50 yards, maybe. Because I had to stop and pick up this little cutie. A cutie for the cutie. Cool. Wisconsin, you're already treating us well. This is actually the state. Um, Wisconsin actually has a lot of good stuff for me. Um, the Ice Age Trail was the first trail that I've really tried to push my physicality and mentality on. Um, let me unlock some new, what I call the pain well in my head. As well as this trail. Um, a little bit backstory about me and Magpie. Um, I talk about it a lot. You can listen to it on different interviews, stuff like that. But a little backstory about her and I. You guys probably already know this, but we met on the Pacific Northwest Trail 2019. And um, it was just like a kind of trail romance. Trail is like any other time, place in life. Um, quote unquote, like regular life. And you have romantic involvements of anything from a fling to um, kind of a romantic yeah, for any, any type of relationship you can have in quote-unquote normal life, you can have on the trail too. Um, so our relationship kind of started on the Pacific Northwest Trail in 2019. And neither of us really knew if it was going to last. Um, both of us really had feelings for each other, but didn't know if they were trail feelings or what they were. So when we split um, up after the PNT, we didn't split up relationship wise but when we split physical ways she went back to try to run out the AT and I went to the Ice Age Trail 
And it's really where, um, in Wisconsin, um, well, I was in Wisconsin and she was out there, that kind of our feelings that we talked through together kind of cemented themselves into, it's something more than trail. Um, so Wisconsin has a lot of like really deep emotional ties for me. Um, even though I suffered a lot on the Ice Age Trail, um, being apart and um, being alone and pushing the body mentally and physically every day, there's a lot of joy and happiness that I found within myself, within that struggle as well. And yeah, this is kind of where Magpies and our relationship really took a turn for, this is something that more than just a trail relationship. This is a partnership that we want to see where it goes. So yeah, a um, little, back, little, bit, little bit of backstory for those of you that didn't know. It's also where I found uh, the one of those hearts that I gave to her that said, take me and spread love each day. If you go on to 11skies.com and look at the consultation photo, there's a little heart on my Hyperlite pack. And um, that's the heart that I actually found near Devil's Lake in Wisconsin and held on to her for a moment that I thought would be worthy of it. And I ended up giving it to her in the bottom of the Grand Canyon when we joined back up on the AZT as kind of like a sentimental and like physical um, kind of thing to represent where the relationship was going. So a lot of beautiful things happen in Wisconsin and they continue to. We just got in a few hours ago and it already graced me with a little, little cute little uh, thing that I can say I love you with. So we go places. That was probably more than you guys wanted to know or you guys probably already knew that, but I don't know, feeling emotional. All right, we go places. <laughs> I love Wisconsin. Within the last mile, we hit a sign that had a tractor, a farmer on a tractor, um, a cow sign, as well as a silo. Within one mile. Oh, I love Wisconsin. <laughs> yes. I remember y'all. I remember you. You can even see the udders on it. I love it. All right. Oh, Wisconsin. You already know where we at, baby. You already know we back. Oh, you just spoil me. Oh, this is why I loved Wisconsin. This is why. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I remember y'all. I remember y'all. You were my uh, conversation for about 30 plus days, 36, 37. Y'all are the people I talked to. Y'all kept me sane. I remember y'all. Wisconsin cows, baby. Oh, there's something special about them. There is something special about that Wisconsin cow. Oh. We back, baby. We back. Okay. Okay. I see y'all. How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? That's good to hear. Keep doing your thing. Nickname in high school. As soon as you cross uh, Highway 2, you see it. Another hit nickname in high school. It is, in fact, a big axe. And we go this way. So this is the little town of Saxon. Um, got a fire department, a burger joint, and another little kind of restaurant. That's not fun. Um, yeah, interesting spot. Oh, and it has a post office. All right, about 6.50. We're walking around a little ski hill to our left. Um, it's gonna start getting dark now, around 7.30, um, since we're in central time. So probably walk for another 40 to 50 minutes. I think as this road curves back around, we'll be in Iron County Forest. So we'll start hitting public land that we're, or county land that we're allowed to camp in. So yeah, we're getting close. The out of town day, we never have something, a direct goal of miles, but if we can get in that 25 mile range, that's always good for an out of town day, especially when the packs are whoo chonky, whoo chonky. All right. All right, we finally turn off uh, the um, paved road onto dirt. 
Yeah, my knees and ankles. Can't believe we used to do that for a month, 40 days straight in Ohio. Oh. It breaks, it breaks you. Every joint in your body hurts. It even hurts your shoulders more, I think, just because it's like higher impact that's bouncing. And I think the packs are super heavy. I've had are super heavy today. Yeah, but yeah, it makes you wonder like, when you're in that mentality of how you get through it, like Ohio, we were doing 30s, 35s, just with at least some days all bike path or road. So yeah. we're happy to be on dirt road again. When, you, when you're in it, it can get you. But I mean, at least on, in Ohio, we were on paved road, like, sometimes. Yeah. So we're in state land, and we're going to pitter-patter around for a little bit longer. Start looking for a little spot to camp. I think it's a county. It? Yeah, my map said county. Okay. Anyway, when it starts getting dark. Yeah, it tells you where you can uh, go places. Good old fashioned snowmobile trails. This is a lot on them, actually. Hmm? You see this a lot on snowmobile trails? Snowmobile fr friendly county, baby. Yeah.